Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'd also like to thank Capricorn Enterprise and the Morning Bulletin for putting this forum together today. It's a great opportunity. And the university, this university, I don't come out here very often, unfortunately, probably because they wouldn't have me. I could, probably couldn't contribute a lot. I wasn't real good at school. But the enormity of this university really strikes you when you come out here and you realise, if you haven't before, how important it is in our community. If it wasn't for this university, uh, Rocky would be in a lot of trouble. Just before you start your stopwatch there, Mary. <laughs> oh, no, no, wind it back. I haven't started. They've all had their preamble before the stopwatch. Now, come on, be fair. Cameramen are notorious for uh, not wanting attention drawn to them. And they're very shy kind of people. This fellow here behind the camera, I used to work with him at uh, the TV station for a long time. And some things don't change. Just stand up and show them that you've got no socks on. <laughs> I can't believe it. Come on. I'm giving you some of my time here. All right. He's a character. I'm surprised you're still here. I'm surprised you're still great. Seven topics in five minutes. Your time starts now. <sighs> Sounds a bit like a TV quiz show, doesn't it? Wheel of Fortune, in fact, with all those promises of all that money being splashed around there before. But I can assure you that uh, I'm not going to be throwing any promises of any money around, but I will promise you something that money can't buy. Some of the basics, most of which have been trashed by our political leaders of late, things like honesty, trust, loyalty, integrity, principles, and having a conscience. I think they're important ingredients, no matter what you're doing in life. The current road infrastructure, both the highway and the streets around Rockhampton, nothing but a bad health hazard. Shocking. Will they get the attention the roads in the southeast are getting? The funding? Probably not, but we'll keep trying. As you know, there's talk about a western bypass. I think the highway going right through Rockhampton is our biggest asset. If you want to travel the east coast from Melbourne all the way up to the Gulf, you've got to go right through the heart of Rockhampton. What a bonus, we have to be the luckiest town in Australia. A golden opportunity, but what we do with that opportunity is obviously up to us. Everyone who drives through this town is a prospective customer. Cars, buses, trucks, motorbikes, hitchhikers, all potential customers. But what do we want to do? Send them out west, put them out to the bush. Bypass Rocky, bypass Yapoon for that matter, because it'll come out way past the Yapoon turn off. Back in the 80s, the council here at the time told us if we didn't take the traffic out of the mall, the mall would die. So they took the traffic out of the mall, and the mall did die. We had to reinstate that traffic flow to get the trade back. We won't be able to do that if we create a bypass. It's going to be there for good. Rail. Every day I see the tool trainers, I'm driving the truck to Gladstone. It's empty. Six carriages, probably a dozen people at the best. $34 one way from Rockhampton to Gladstone. Roma Street to Narang, same time. $9. 9 versus 34. Same service? I'll let you do the math. Why should we have to pay more for the same service just because we live in regional Queensland? It's ridiculous. We should be expanding, expanding our train sheds, our maintenance sheds, instead of closing them down. Just for the record, I publicly oppose the sale of uh, QR and the other assets at the time, and I oppose any further sale of any assets that any government may wish to do in the future. As far as air travel is concerned, I think we're doing pretty good. We've got a great airport. It caters very well. It's a credit to the people who run it. It's a credit to the city. Shame it floods. We had to fix that. But I think it's a great airport. I'm most definitely opposed, though, to any sell-off of the airport. Despite what the uh, local council was telling us, I think that's still lurking in the background and could happen. The partnership between the Central Queensland University and TAFE, I agree, in principle, provided the necessary homework has been done, it's imperative that the two merge. But there's a lot of money at stake here. Over $70 million so far has been allocated by the feds. There's talk the state isn't going to honour that and come on board with it. I think that's just a whole lot of political rhetoric. This is going to happen. There's no doubt about it. So look, don't lose any sleep over it. I fully support it regardless of who's in government at the time, if I'm elected. The Riverfront Redevelopment, Convention, Sporting Precincts, Sadly, the only time we ever hear or see anything about the Fitzroy River is if it's in flood or in an artist's impression, uh, when someone wants to flog a set of units or something along Victoria Parade, uh, or they're pumping waste into it from the mines. It's tragic. Uh, I defy anyone here today to buy such a basic commodity as an ice cream anywhere along Kitty Street or Victoria Parade. You can't do it. 2012, you can't buy an ice cream. How crazy is that? We need to increase the amount of vendors that are 
not there. They should be encouraged to get there. We need more, better boating facilities like we have right across the state, but not in Rocky. Great Kemper Line and the coastal foreshore revitalisation. I'm appalled that the state government allowed the state, uh, the uh, tower holdings, the leaseholders of Keppel to close it down. That's shocking and it shouldn't have been allowed. I fully support uh, a new resort as far as development on the coast is concerned. I think Rockhampton and Yapoon are two separate entities. They both need their own separate attractions and I'd like to create a free family fun park in Rockhampton and Yapoon can have their water feature as well. But both are needed as far as I'm concerned. Rocky's outgrowing Yapoon for a start. Industrial land and uh, infrastructure, obviously uh, we need both. Where do we put it? Out west is probably the best place. Along with the dump. We need to put the dump out west. Don't put it down in Yapoon. How crazy is that? So I'm fully supportive of uh, that industrial area provided that we, we do it right. The CQ NRL bid is an important one. I fully support it. No doubt it's going to bring untold amounts of revenue into town. It's also going to create jobs. It's going to foster young talent. But I don't support the current recommended site of putting it over near the high school. I think it should be maybe out the highway where the sound show was. Uh, I don't support the, the $500,000, half a million idea Mr Burns putting up that we put into a feasibility study for something that hasn't even been approved yet. Is there anyone here that will put in half a million dollars of their own money for something that hasn't, hasn't been approved? Of course not. So let's, let's, let's wait. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't see anyone... Jeff, you're putting in half a million? Yeah. Will you put in the half a million dollars for the feasibility study? Come on, Bruce. Okay. Anyway, you, you've got my point. I'm all for it, and, and we need the, uh, the stadium for sure. And do I support major events? Yes, I do. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.